Gary Lineker has sparked fury from Tory MPs after taking to Twitter to hit out a tough new laws unveiled by the Home Secretary Suella Braverman and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to tackle small boats crossing the channel. The Match of the Day host branded the move cruel. Taking to Twitter today, the broadcaster addressed the outcry in a candid tweet. In view of his 8.7 million followers, he penned, mourning all. Anything going on? In a follow-up message Gary wrote, Great to see the freedom of speech champions out in force this morning demanding silence from those with whom they disagree. Another tweet read, I have never known such love and support in my life than I'm getting this morning, England World Cup goals aside, possibly. I want to thank each and every one of you. It means a lot. I'll continue to try and speak up for those poor souls that have no voice. Cheers all. It comes after the match of the day presenter compared the government's illegal migration bill to the policies in 1930s Nazi Germany. He said the language in which the plan was set out was not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 30s. MPs have demanded that one of the BBC's highest paid presenters be sacked from his role for the crass comparison and an impartiality breach. Gary's post comes just hours after Ms. Braverman said she was disappointed over his comments. She slapped down Gary's unhelpful intervention on the illegal migration bill. Ms. Braverman told BBC Breakfast, I'm disappointed obviously. I think it's unhelpful to compare our measures which are lawful, proportionate and compassionate to 1930s Germany. I also think we're on the side of the British people here. It is plain for anyone to see that the British people have had enough of this situation of thousands of people coming here illegally at huge cost to the taxpayer and undermining our laws and British generosity. That needs to stop. Asked on ITV's Good Morning Britain if the ex-England striker should resign or be sacked, she said. That's a matter for the BBC and they will resolve that. Meanwhile, Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick said the former footballer, who earns £1.35 million a year, is so far out of step with the public on illegal immigration. The Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick told Times Radio, My children are the grandchildren of Holocaust survivors and I think those sorts of words should not be thrown around lightly. Gary Lineker is paid for by the British taxpayer and it is disappointing that he is so far out of step with the British public. They see people dying, literally in the English Channel at the behest of some of the most evil criminal gangs we see in the world today, and they want the government to take action. That's exactly what we intend to do. The deputy chair of the Conservative Party Lee Anderson wrote on Facebook, This is just another example of how out of touch these overpaid stars are with the voting public. Instead of lecturing, Mr. Lineker should stick to reading out the football scores and flogging crisps. The BBC have since said they're having a frank conversation with Gary after the match of the day host tweeted critically about the government's asylum policy. His response to a video message by the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, about stopping people crossing the channel in small boats was, good heavens, this is beyond awful. When challenged by someone on Twitter, the presenter defended his comments, saying, There is no huge influx. We take far fewer refugees than other major European countries. This is just an immeasurably cruel policy directed at the most vulnerable people in language that is not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 30s, and I'm out of order.
love.